Hello everyone, this is DA from A Academy and today we are going to see one of the important theorem about the compactness in a topological space that tells the relation of compact space, a Hausdorff space and a normal space. And the statement of the theorem is that every compact Hausdorff or T2 space is a normal space. So initially we have a space that is compact and Hausdorff and the target is to show that this space is a normal space and for normal space we must have two open sets we have to recall the definition of the normal space so a space is said to be normal if we have two open sets that disjoint two closed sets in a way that the intersection of the two open sets is empty so here we are looking for two open sets in this space such that that separate two disjoint closed sets and whose intersection is empty. So let's take two disjoint closed sets in this compact and Hausdorff space and named it C1 and C2. As C1 and C2 are closed sets in a compact Hausdorff space then by the property of the compact spaces because c1 is a closed subset of the compact space and c2 is also a closed subset of the compact space then by definition of the compact space or by the property c1 and c2 are also the compact subsets in itself now we can use a property of a compact or the house door space in common that is if we have a house door space x and C is a compact subset of the Hausdorff space and if we take any element X that is not in C from our space X then there are disjoint open sets such that UX and VX whose intersection is empty and UX contains X and VX is a superset of that compact subset C or C is a subset of that open set VX so we'll use this concept here because we have a Hausdorff space. We have two closed subsets that indeed are compact subsets. So we can use this as if we take an element from C1 but not from C2. Where C2 act as that C and this X is apart from this compact space or for this compact subset then by this there must be two open sets or some open sets such that this x is a member of some ux and this c2 is a subset of some vx so we can draw here but c2 has an open set but c1 has not any open set right now because ux is the set that contains x only and we cannot say that that C1 is a subset of that UX. So we'll use the property of the compactness of the C1 because C1 is compact so there must be finite open cover or we can say that there must be some finite number of elements such that we can form some of the open sets UX1, UX2, UX3. So we can say that we have UXI's open sets that contains these finite elements in C1 and we can write here as so here are the open sets that contains the finite elements in c1 so we can write it as c1 is a subset of the union of all of the open sets and we can write the union is equal to u so this is equal to u this is just the name that is given to reduce the complexity of writing this again and again so c1 is a subset of u yeah, and u is equal to the union of the ux size where i where if run 2 k or we can also say that 1 to n because we have finite elements here initially we have for 1x there is an open set ux and other vx that contains uh, ux contains x and vx is a superset of c2 so now we're dealing with the finitely many elements of the c1 so we have finitely many elements and finitely many open sets that contains the points so there must be also finitely many open sets that contains c2 like this 
So we can also say that the intersection of all of these Vxi is equal to V just for the sake of the simplicity. And because C2 is a subset of every Vxi and V is the intersection of Vxi so this is from here we can say that C2 is a subset of V as well and C1 is a subset of U. So we can write it. So now we have two open sets. The very first is U and the second is V. And the question is now that intersection of U and V is empty or not. Here initially by the property that we are using here is that, that Vx, the initial open set for 1x and the Ux is the intersection of both open sets is empty. Because V is an intersection of all of the open sets that contains C2 and C1 is a subset of U and that is the union of all of the open sets. So this, this thing implies that the intersection of U and V is empty. So this is what we are looking for to disjoint open sets U and V that separate two closed sets C1 and C2 whose intersection is empty. C1 and C2 are also disjoint closed sets. So this thing implies that this space is a normal space. Or we can say that this space is a compact Hausdorff and a normal space. And we have proved that every compact Hausdorff space is a normal space. So this is for now. We're looking for more such videos and you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos. We will meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.